gathered here today, it's simply a fraction of the lives that, that she has touched. Remember the good things that Joe did for you. When my mother passed, I became a better person, and that's all she wants you to do, become a better person in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. I met her in 1993 when I started my training, and we had a student teacher, role model, mentor relationship. And over the years, she became a dear friend. And when I joined the division, when I finished, everybody kept saying she was the matriarch of our division. She truly was. She just, we were her children, and she was our mom. And she looked after us as a mom would. Now many of us that worked with her were clearly baptized into service for indigent and underserved patients by working at Harbor and staying at Harbor for so many years. And I've got to tell you, I firmly believe that JP was strategically placed at Harbor to remind us every day of those very facts. And with that, I learned a very important lesson in life. Have passion and meaning for your work. And your salary will be your bonus, not your paycheck. At the end, we did have one quiet moment where I was sitting with her. I got the opportunity to get so close to her because we lived so close and I became sort of the messenger. Everybody would bring in gifts and food and tokens and I would bring it up to her house on my way home and we'd sit and chat. And she just said, my end is coming too soon. And I'm not ready to leave. I have a family to look after. Who's going to watch over them? I told her that it was her strength and her teachings that she had imparted on us, that she had imparted on them, that they would be strong and survive because she would always be with us every day. And as Aaron pointed out to me last night, her mom would say, you've got 10 minutes to cry and then you need to pick up and move forward. And that is what she wants us to do. We need to celebrate her life and the way she touched each and every one of us and know that she'll be with us forever. Oh,